Hey everyone, welcome back again this week. I just wanted to talk briefly about being a perfectionist. I don't know if any of you are doing that yourself, but I have been a perfectionist for the longest time and I'm really trying to let that go because I am working in my right brain most of the time here in Casadega Spiritualist Camp as a certified medium healer and teacher. And um, sometimes I just want things to be just this perfect thing. And is that something that I put in my own mind or no? I don't know. And just something for you to consider and think about. So this week we're doing the card draw one, two, or three. And we're using the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, PhD. Here we go. And you know, just because it says goddess doesn't mean it's just for women. I was thinking of that today for some reason. And we all have a little bit of masculine and feminine energy within us. Own it. All right, so if you pick number one, Aphrodite, inner goddess. Here it is. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Message from Aphrodite, allow your inner fem feminine wisdom and dynamic beauty to rise to surface. Cherish its power and meaningfulness. No matter whether your physical body is male or female, you have an inner feminicity that nurtures you and guides you with its intuitive principles. Now in the time to become aware of, take excellent care of, and celebrate your magnificence. I swear to God, I did not know that was in there. Ah. Various meanings of this card. Balance your male energy with more female energy. Take steps to heal your sexuality. Enjoy being feminine. Dance more often. Be receptive. In relationships, allow your softer side to come forward, don't hide your femininity. Dress in a more feminine way, for example. I love that. Number two, una. Easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Message from una. Nurturing a cause or a relationship is a long-term commitment and one that can't be rushed. This level of devo devotion comes from a place of deep loving and concern. I care what happens to my planet and to my loved ones so much that I'm willing to stick with them through thick and thin. This isn't always easy, but to me, it's the only way to ensure that matters are resolved and healed. I listen to the passionate stirrings of my heart I reach out and take action to let my loved ones know that I deeply care about them. I take action to spur on my pet causes. Never mind what other people think. You will benefit by carrying through with your priorities. You'll feel so good about yourself if you make time for the relationships and project, projects that truly count in your heart. Do what's important to you and do it with absolute devotion, but remember that there's no competition for your true life's purpose. So there's no need to worry, hurry, or feel that you have to force things to happen. Various meanings to this card. Don't worry about your purpose or your goals. Make no sudden moves. Slow, steady progress is best right now. Ease into your new life instead of rushing into it. Do your work, new work as a part-time venture to begin with while slowly exiting your old career. Three is Yemenja, Yemenja, Yemenja. Beautiful card. Golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Message from Yemenja. Like the ocean, life moves in waves and tides. Timing is everything. So when an important presence, uh, so when an opportunity presents itself, you must dive in in that moment. 
everything that you've done to prepare yourself or accompany you. Yet, if you hesitate or procrastinate, another opportunity will surely come along, just as the tides wash in and out continuously. Like the ocean, life is rich with a variety, beauty, variety and beauty. Enjoy experiencing its various rhythms and allow all doubts to be washed away. Various meanings of this card. Don't hesitate. This is the right thing to do. Your prayers are being answered. Get ready for a big and a happy change. Celebrate your success. Know that you are qualified and ready for this opportunity. Interesting, and I do think I forgot to read the, um, no, I didn't. And here I am being the perfectionist that I am. And guess what? You know, I really can't stand it when I mess up the words, but it's okay. I'm going to let it go today. And I hope you have a fabulous week. Thank you. Bye.